Okay, I did. Go! Yeah. Go! Right, go, oh. okay. Hi, it's Fashion O'Brien. Tomorrow, Mike Quincy from Consumer Reports will be here to answer all, all your questions about cars. We'll also find out whether the Nissan Pathfinder is an appropriate vehicle to blow stuff up. up in. You know, we get up at 3.30 in the morning. I get up at 3.30 in the morning. So, for me now, it's a little after the show has ended, about 10.02, 10, uh, 10 I'd say. It's brunch time for me. It's brunch. And nothing says brunch like famous Amos chocolate chip cookies. This is like, uh, remember how nice the Ivanhoe used to be? Yeah. Remember how you go to the Ivanhoe on Sundays for brunch? This is my Ivanhoe in a bag. I, I actually think, yeah, the Ivanhoe had, uh, was better than a bag of famous Amos It cookies. was better, but they're not here anymore. So this is my Ivanhoe. Well, I think that's, a, that's, uh, that's kind of a horrible replacement, don't you think? I mean, it's barely a replacement at all. Oh. The Ivanhoe, you had so many choices. Here you just, one cookie after another, the same thing. Each bite is just something different. First, my scrambled eggs. Yeah, okay. Mm. Listen. Um, then my stuffed salmon. Uh -huh. mm. uh, also this week, uh, Peter... Then the roast beef. Excuse me. Peter Frampton mm. is going to be on the phone this oh, week. Oh, is he? Yes, he is. And then, unless he dies first, which we're mm. hoping. Or, or just doesn't call us like Chuck Norris didn't. No, we weren't going to talk to Chuck Norris. We are going to talk to a guy who's written a book about Chuck Norris. And really... Who cared? Wasn't tomorrow supposed to be our Lynn Redgrave interview, too? Uh, yes, it was, but she had a last-minute cancellation. And also, uh, Angelo Pupolo, state rep, is going to be, uh, I don't know if he's on the phone or live. He's giving us an award. He must Here. be live. He's live? Okay, yeah. Well, you, you know how some of these guys are. He's live, even if he's on the phone. Apparently, he's giving us a citation of excellence. If he was not live, how would he be anywhere? I, I, I really don't know. But anyway, the question isn't, is, is he live or on the phone? The question is, is he here well, or on the, the phone? The question really should be, what the hell did we deserve uh, a citation of excellence for? What did we do? Let's be on the air. 